Space Explorer between the lines. Three, two, one, go. Here in this match, both our red and blue alliance starting two robots on level one of their half platform and one on level two. All six of those robots joining the action as our red alliance able to successfully place a cargo pod in their cargo ship thanks to the efforts of King Tech. This means as our tele-operated period begins and the sands have cleared on planet Primus, our Red Alliance will be off to an early lead at T minus 122 seconds. Early on, we're already seeing on our Red Alliance, King Tech trying to stick to the cargo. They're grabbing cargo pods up off of the ground and attempting to place them in the Red Alliance cargo ship midfield. They're trying to do that thanks to the null hatch panels that the Red Alliance have chosen to put in place on those cargo ships. On our Blue Alliance, incoming we have Hexhounds. They've got a hatch panel in tow. They place that easily on the lower level of one of those Blue Alliance rockets. That lower level now completed with hatch panels. We will see if our Blue Alliance continues to work on that rocket or if they're going to shift their strategy. On our Red Alliance, we're seeing Ultimate Protection Squad picking up a hatch panel off the ground as they try to score that on one of their rockets. It's partly in place. That will earn them the two points. However, it's unknown if that hatch panel is secure enough to be able to hold cargo later on during our match. Hexhounds continuing their work on a Blue Alliance rocket, now completely loading the lower level of that rocket. They're now back with cargo and heading to their cargo ship to score. T minus 42 seconds remaining in our match. Despite the efforts of our blue alliance, our red alliance in the lead and continuing to grow. We have a little bit of cooperation between King Tech and Ultimate Protection Squad. UPS placing those hatch panels as King Tech comes in with cargo on that red alliance rocket. Over in blue, we have robots heading back to our HAB platform. We see Hexhounds attempting to bring themselves up to level three. They look like they might be struggling just a little bit. They're on their front feet, but they still have time to attempt once again. On our Red Alliance, we have UPS ramming the HAB to try to bounce up to level two. Ultimately, neither the Red nor Blue Alliance able to get people. Our Red Alliance, the victor. With a final score of 81 points, your Red Alliance is victorious over the Blue Alliance, who are only able to score 46. This means your Red Alliance walking away with two ranking points from their victory.